good afternoon students welcome to the another session of online class i hope you understand the first concept of motion from the class 9 so let us recall the previous class so in the previous class we discussed about the definition of motion motion is relative to an observer to prove this we have this we have taken some examples also with pictures to show that left and right are related to up and down are related to day and night are related to motion and rest are related to to one another so next we discussed about distance and displacement also with pictures so what is distance the actual path traveled in an object so the actual path traveled by an object it is a scalar quantity means only magnitude value has been given next is displacement the shortest distance traveled in a specified direction means here you are showing the direction also so it is displacement and it is a vector quantity means showing magnitude as well as direction the units for both are meter so these are the points which were discussed by us in the previous class today i am going to discuss you about the concepts of motion here so today we we are going to discuss about speed versus velocity speed let us look into the concept of speed it gives an idea of how slow or fast that body is moving slow or fast that body is moving means if you look into the picture see here here car one is going with a speed of 65 kilometers per hour to reach the house car 2 is going with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour to reach the house now i am asking question to you so which car is moving slow and which car is moving fast definitely car 1 is moving slow to reach the house comparing to car 2 if you notice one thing here time is also given to cover the distance to cover the distance so this is nothing but speed means speed of the body is the distance traveled by it per unit time so it is the definition of the speed please note it speed of the body is the distance traveled by it per unit time means to cover the distance they must follow the time also okay students so the formula for speed is distance by time then speed is equal to distance is denoted by the letter d and time is by the letter t okay that is equal to distance is measured in meter and time is measured in seconds so meter per second is the unit then speed is a scalar quantity because it is giving only magnitude okay students let us look at the picture once again now the next concept is velocity so velocity means it gives an idea 
of how fast that body moves in a specified direction means in the speed only distance is covering within a time here velocity is also covering the distance but in a specified direction okay students so the definition of velocity is velocity of a body is the distance traveled by it per unit time in a given direction means it is showing direction also just like a displacement okay students so the formula for velocity is displacement by time taken so si unit for velocity is equal to meter per second so velocity is a vector quantity means it has both the magnitude and direction let us discuss one by taking one example example of velocity so here runner a ran in a race so here one person is there runner a ran in a race he completed a 100 meter dash in a just 25 seconds so he has to complete 100 meters in just 25 seconds now what is his speed and what is his velocity now you have to find what is his speed and velocity so already we know the formula of speed that is speed is equal to distance by time here the runner has to complete the distance how much of distance 100 meters divided by how much of time 25 seconds okay students so here 25 ones are 25 25 fours are 100 means 4 meter per second so it is the speed of her it is the speed of runner a now what about velocity see here if you observe the velocity velocity is also same value just like speed but velocity showing the direction of runner a showing the direction of runner a so it is the example of velocity if you look into the above next picture you can easily differentiate the concept of speed and velocity so speed is the distance covered in unit time unit time speed is the distance covered in unit time so speed formula is equal to distance by time so this car speed is 60 km per hour it is the value given by speed but velocity it is the distance traveled in unit time in a given direction so what is the formula for velocity it is displacement by time so see here the car has a velocity of 60 km per hour to the west means it is showing the direction so this picture differentiate the speed and velocity concepts easily so look into this picture keenly students okay next concept is mathematical expression so you have to find the distance speed time by using the this triangle so by using this triangle we can easily find if the given distance speed values or speed time values or distance speed values by using these formulas you can define easily or you can solve the problems easily okay students note this expression in your notebooks okay next concept is 
average speed means it is the total distance traveled by a body divided by the total time taken to cover that distance so to understand this one we have to take one example so here one girl is there her name is soni so she covered each leg of her journey means each foot of her journey in one second if you look into this picture in every each foot she has completed different distances okay but time is same means one second this means that the total time for her trip was 6 seconds count it 1 2 3 4 5 six. 6 directions are there for each direction she has taken 1 second means 6 seconds and what about distance we have to count the distance also no yeah so 1 plus 1 meter plus 2 meters that is 3 meters 3 meters plus 1 meter 4 meters 4 meters plus 2 6 meters 6 meters plus 3 meters 9 meters 9 meters plus 3 12 meters so overall 12 meters has completed by her with in 6 seconds so now look into the definition so it is a total distance means sony covered total distance traveled by a body divided by the total time taken to cover that distance okay so formula for average speed is equal to total distance covered by time taken if you look into the example here we have finded average speed so already we know total distance is 12 meters and the time taken by her is 6 seconds that is 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 that is 2 meter per second and this is the average speed of her girl of that girl okay students and this is the average speed next topic is uniform speed if particle covered equal distance in equal interval of time then particle said to be moving with uniform speed if you look into this picture you can easily understand the definition of uniform speed see here a one motor bike cycle is there and he is covering the same distance in same timing so 5 meters for every 1 second so here you can say that the motor bicycle is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time so this is nothing but uniform speed okay students okay